Oh, a parking spot. I'm just gonna park my car here. I don't care about the timer. I'm just gonna go overtime. Hi everyone. So in today's video, we're gonna finish the parking sensor that we designed in the previous episode of this series. You remember the parking sensor LEDs and our distance sensor that we used? Um, green means available, blue, and all that. If you haven't seen my previous video, I highly recommend you watch those. And we've just added a stepper motor that can push the car away if it's parked over time. Now, this part is just for fun. My intention was just to kind of teach you how a stepper motor is, you can use it with the Arduino, how to wire it up, and how to write a code to control a stepper motor. And uh, the pushing car away was just for fun part. Um, I'll take you to the computer and show you the code. I've put everything together. As always, I'm gonna give you an article with the code that you can just copy and paste and upload to your Arduino. Now, as a quick refresher or a reminder, the way it works is like we use the distance sensor and a timer. And first, green means available. Now the car is pushed away, so the park is available. And if someone parks, you can see if I bring the car, then I get the blue. And then if it's, if it's almost a due, then you get the white or yellow. And then if it's overtime, then you get the red light. And with the red light, we are spinning the stepper motor in addition to the red light. So now if we move the car away, you see we go back to green, everything resets. So that's the idea behind it. Let's go to the computer. I'll show you the code and I'll show you how everything, you know, uh, get put together. Okay, so now we are on the computer. This is the Arduino IDE and this is the code combined all together. I do have each part of this code kind of on its own in a previous videos. So if you haven't watched those, I highly recommend it. Now let me go over this code real quick and I'll show you the part that I added. First here, we have the uh, trigger and the echo for the distance sensor. So these are uh, from the previous episode. This is the distance that we are specifying or we're checking for. That's how we determine if a car is parked or not. We just check the distance and if it's under that distance, then it's parked. If it's over, then it's green and basically the parking is available. This is the timer that we are just starting with zero. And that's how we calculate the time or the length of how long the car has been parked there. Now, these are just some pins uh, set up. These are for the LEDs. This is for the distance sensor and these are for the stepper motor. This is in the loop. We are just doing some calculation to first determine the distance. We are using the distance sensor to calculate the distance. Then we check the distance. If the distance is under that distance variable that we've declared, then we are uh, starting with blue, meaning a car is parked. If it's over, then it's green and the parking is available. Now, assuming the car is not available, so the distance is under, then we check for the time. How long have they been parked there? If they, if they do between five and 10, and obviously this is like short period because I don't wanna make you wait too long for this demo, we're just learning here. Uh, between five and 10, we do yellow, which means like you're almost due to leave. And then anything over 10 or over nine here, uh, we are doing red and red mean you're overdue, you need to leave. And in addition to the red, that's when I added my stepper motor code. Once again, I just gave the stepper motor code in the previous video on its own, and we discussed that uh, on its own without being combined with the rest of the code. Um, this is just a for loop to kind of do like a counter because I want to do 160 steps. This was kind of ideal for the demo that you just saw. Obviously, feel free to kind of play with this. Uh, yeah, we just turn the stepper motor when we turn the red light on. 
uh, this is just the reset. So this is everything resets after uh, the car leaves and then the timer also resets. And this is just a one second delay. So there's a one second delay after every time the loop gets going. Now, um, obviously there is a small delay here uh, of 10 milliseconds. That's gonna add up a little bit. I mean, I'm not gonna go like deep into that, but I know that's gonna add up to a little bit over a second if you really wanna dig into the math. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, as usual, I will leave a link in the description to this code if you wanna copy it and uh, upload it to your Arduino or like you know modify it, mess with it the way you like. Uh, this is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.